Well, it looks like Meta's Threads, their alleged Twitter killer, is dying. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend, where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Less than a month after Meta's Threads launches, <laughs> It's on life support. It's done. Now, I don't want to rub it in anybody's face, but I definitely predicted it. And I also realized so many other people predicted it as well, so I'm not gonna to claim to be anything other than a moron, but at times I like to appear to be a confident moron who pretends I know what I'm talking about. We'll get to why Threads is failing, but first, let's look at how it's failing. On Friday, the Wall Street Journal, Journal reported Threads daily user engagement is around 13 million members. Now you might say, like, dude, that, that sounds like a lot of people. And it is, but not compared to what it was. That's down nearly 70% from the July 7th peak. So it peaked right after it launched, which is just the power of a trillion dollar company, Meta, behind its launch. They did a big land grab, unsustainable land grab, got a lot of people on it, and it's down 70%. So the biggest number I heard was they had 70 million users on it, 70 million daily users. Now, that's down to 13 million. So that means there's still a lot more people signed up on threads but only 13 million people are using it daily. But how much are they using it daily? They're using it for an average of just four minutes per day on threads. Now you can compare that to Twitter or X as Elon for some reason calls it now. So uh, keep in mind, Twitter is what Zuckerberg said, you know, is gonna die from threads. So how dead is Twitter compared to threads? Well, Twitter has 200 million daily users on it and they have an average use time on the app of 30 minutes each. So 200 million users on Twitter compared to 13 million users on threads. And those 13 million users on threads are on there for an average of four minutes a day. Twitter users or 200 million are on there for an average of 30 minutes a day. Why is Threads failing? Well, first you could say it's failing because it's Zuckerberg's idea. Really the only idea that Zuckerberg ever had that's worked is Facebook. Facebook is also seemingly dying a slow death, but it's also questionable was Facebook even Zuckerberg's idea because there was a lawsuit around like the two rowing guys from Harvard or wherever the hell he went to school that Zuckerberg like stole the idea from. So at best, Facebook was Zuckerberg's idea. At worst, he stole that idea and he's killing it. But nonetheless, he's had many other great ideas that nobody wanted. I think the guy's super out of tune with reality. For instance, you can see here, Zuckerberg has spent $36 billion building the metaverse. I don't know a single person on it. Nobody wants to use it. Years ago, Zuckerberg launched the Facebook phone. I don't think it's still around. I think it died before it even hit the market. Then you can think of Instagram, WhatsApp, those are owned by Meta, but those are companies other people started and then Meta acquired them and hasn't screwed them up yet. But the real reason why I believe Threads is dying and will soon be very dead, I think there's actually two primary reasons. One, the guarantee you get from Meta when you use any of their products, including threads, is a hell of a lot of censorship. So it's like their, their marketing campaign for threads. They don't say this, but this is what people get is, hey, if you want a Twitter alternative where we will censor you more, then threads is for you. If you don't wanna be able to say what you wanna say, come to threads, it's gonna be great for you. <laughs> And Threads also says like, hey, like, you know, people on the left, they're tired of Twitter. They want a spot for them uh, uh, online. It's like, yeah, like they have every spot online other than like Rumble and Twitter. So they're offering nothing new. There was no innovation. That's point number two, why Threads is failing. There's no innovation. There's nothing new. It, they're, they're taking something that already exists, which is Twitter, and then they're repackaging it, making it worse, and then launching it. There's no innovation. They're not adding anything new to it. They're taking something that exists and making it worse. To me, it's like uh, Hollywood redoing an old film and except instead of doing the old film 
better or adding something new to it, they have an unoriginal idea. So they're taking an old film, but then they woke wash it, they make it worse, take it to market and wonder why the hell they lose money on it. So I think Meta has taken a page out of their old uh, business playbook. The other thing to consider with Meta, they seem to be untrustworthy, devious people. Now, one of their, I think, slimy techniques to get people to stay on threads is they make it impossible to cancel your Threads account. Now you can have a Threads account, doesn't mean you're one of the current 13 million daily users, but if you've signed up for a Threads account, I proudly did not, but if you did sign up for a Threads account, you're like, all right, like I, I fell for the hype, I'm on this, but I don't wanna use it, let me cancel my Threads account. You can't do it. The only way you can cancel your Threads account is by deleting your Instagram account. That's a slimy technique from Meta to keep people technically on their platform. This from Meta, who has a user terms and service agreement where they can absolutely spy on you, not just your activity on Facebook, but across the entire internet. They can mine stuff from your computer that you're using Facebook on, your phone. This is a slimy company. I don't think the, the public has much trust in them, but also the public doesn't have much use for them if they're not innovating and offering anything useful. But I could be wrong. Maybe people do want censorship. Let's see what Zuckerberg has to say. I mean, there are obviously a lot of people who think that, that we should be censoring more content. And that's what we're doing at Threads. So if you're one of the people who thinks Meta should be censoring more content, go join Threads and do it fast because it ain't going to be around for long. Now, I apologize. I'm being a little condescending. I'm In this video, I'm sort of celebrating the failure of something and I am actually happy to do that. I think things that deserve to fail, like I'm glad to see them fail. Things that dishonor human dignity, dishonor human rights, which Meta does a fantastic job of. I am happy to see them fail because I see those as oppressive forces against people. I'm a fan of people. I'm a fan of we the people to be specific. I want we the people to win. So when I see the forces, the weaponized arm of the federal government called Meta, when their censorship, when I see them start to crumble or a leg of them start to crumble, I get happy, I get excited because it's we the people inching a step closer to victory. So I appreciate you watching with me, my freedom loving friend. I appreciate you celebrating the death of threads with me. I can't wait for it to be incarnated into something else that will not work equally as well. So I'll look forward to seeing you on our next video. But until then, I wanna tell you about something I use and love and trust every day. I'll tell you this, my friend, health equals freedom. And I consider our immune systems to be the most foundational part of our health, so much so that I consider our immune system systems to be the declaration of independence for our health. So if you want great health, you know you have to have a strong immune system. The only question is, are you doing anything about it? I'll tell you about a game-changing formula that I'm using to strengthen and rebuild my immune system. It's Fierce Immunity by Rebel Lion. The Fierce Immunity formulation is what sets it apart from any other immune product on the market. Our formulators have used cutting edge technology to test different ingredients across all the systems of the body. This gave them over a trillion data points of information, which helped them conclude the exact right ingredients to go into Fierce Immunity. And what sets Fierce Immunity apart from anything else isn't just the ingredients in the formula, but it's also found in how the ingredients synergistic work together and that gives your immune system more support than anything else will. If you want the best immune product on the market then just go to getfiercenow.com jp and while you're there be sure to use a discount code AWAKEN for 15% off. It's time to get fierce.